Hey future data enthusiast welcome back to guide coachings the go to channel for all things data driven i'm your host mozim ali welcome to our python programming tutorials today we are diving deep into the world of conditional statements exploring advanced techniques to enhance your coding skills from mastering multiple if else conditions to harness the power of the match statement and integrating if else with loop conditions we have got you covered whether you are a beginner eager to learn or an experienced programmer seeking new insights stick around as we demystify these essential concepts in python if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button below why because here we don't just analyze data we transform it into actionable insights together by subscribing you are not just keeping up with the latest insights you are joining a family passionate about leveraging data for success now speaking of success i have something truly exciting to share with you many of you have been asking for a more immersive learning experience and guess what your wish is our command i am thrilled to announce the our exclusive three months online course for aspiring data analyst yes you heard it right In this comprehensive program we will equip you with the skills needed to navigate the data landscape like a pro from understanding the fundamentals to mastering advanced analytics techniques we have got it all covered first two demo classes are absolutely free you can join the live classes on saturdays and sundays between 11 am to 2 pm So if you are serious about taking your data game to the next level check out the link in the description for more details and secure your spot today seats are limited and trust me you don't want to miss this opportunity see you in the classes all right then let's jump into today's topic that is how you can use multiple if else conditions so in the previous tutorial we have seen about we have seen about how you can use if and else condition where we were talking about a scenario where if a candidate is a above 18 he is eligible to vote we are showing that yes he is eligible to vote if he is below 18 years we are saying no you are not eligible for vote okay now adding one more layer to it adding one more complexity layer to it if we have more than two condition that is three conditions so in this situation how we can manage that okay so we will see that by first that is if else multiple if else how you can you know see uh, manage it now consider a situation where we have more than 3 statements where you know if a user enter 1 he should be shown with january or if he no we have a 12 months as in the list and if user enter 1 we should be showing that this month is january if he enters 12 we should show that this month is december likewise we have 12 options where if else if else if else will be a complex situation so for that we have a very you know important and a very good functionality available from 3. o of python where we can use match statement how we can use it we are going to see that then the third important point is if else with loop now we are combine we have seen individually how loop works we have seen individually how if else works so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use them together and create a complex program or you we can you how we can use it for our uh, data accessibility okay so starting from the first point that is uh, how we can use multiple if else condition but before going to that topic i have you know some basic points to clear out that is mathematical operations okay how we can perform it we have already seen few of comparative operators now we are going to see about arithmetic or a mathematical operators which we can use so if suppose we have 8 and we want to multiply 8 and 2 or we want to add 8 and 2 that is how we can do it so if i press shift enter it will give me the result if i want to have it like uh, 8 into 2 that is 8 into 2 hold on 8 into 2 so 8 multiplied by 2 it will give me the result as 16 if i want to have it with 8 divided by 2 so this is going to now 
it is going to divide it and it will give me the value as 4 okay so sorry it is going to give me the value as 4 now if i want to get the remainder i will be using a modulus sign and when i will be using it i will be getting as a zero so you know this is very important when to use modulus and when to use division that is you know you need to pay attention to if you in case if you use wrongly you will get the total different results okay that is how you can use the modulus modulus mainly focuses on the remainder value it gives us the remainder so if i tomorrow if i change this to 7 modulus 2 that means it will give me a value as 1 but if i divide 7 by 2 so it will be going to give me a value of 3.5 so that is how the modulus and division work now the more important the again important factor that is i have 3 plus 10 i want 3 plus 10 that is 13 and i want to multiply the remaining 5 minus 3 what should be the result so i want 3 13 multiplied by 2 it has to be 26 so now if i execute it i am getting as a 50 result but i want 26 as a result so here comes the bracket the priority okay in the mathematical operators whenever a bracket is coming it has see the priority first goes to the multiplication and on the similar line goes to the division then you have plus and minus okay but above that if you are using brackets so this bracket will have the priority and above this we have one more bracket we call it square bracket and above this we have one more bracket which we call as a curly brackets so this is the priority of execution so whenever you want to execute something before before multiplication you will be using the uh, angular bracket so this is how we have used angular brackets over here now if i execute i supposed to get 26 as a result and that is how i will be getting so i told my kernel to execute this part first and then multiply it with the rest of the part okay that is how we can do it now moving on to multiple if else condition so as i have mentioned as we have taken the yesterday's example or the previous week example about age so we have if age is greater than zero okay so what we will say we will say print print you or else we will say age is less than zero okay age is less than zero you are not born yet okay that is how we can say it okay and we will go to the else part now in the else part i want to check whether the user is greater than 18 or not so else i will be putting else but i have a condition to check whether it is he is greater than 18 or not so i'll write lf okay and then i will write if age is greater than or equals to greater than equals to so it is greater than or equals to 18 then we will put a colon and then we will write print okay print and then we'll give con congratulations you are eligible to vote okay this is how we will say and then we'll close the bracket and then we'll go hit enter and then we'll write else if we want to add one more condition we can write this ls elif then we will write age and then we'll say age is greater than uh, 50 or 58 and 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 less than age is less than 70 then what we will say we will say print you you are senior citizen 
citizen okay citizen okay then we'll close the bracket and then we'll again hit enter if i have one more condition i can write else if and then if i just want it to be end i will write print then we will write something as else part okay if i want to add something i can add it over here this will be my default condition over here now see here if i am passing age is less than zero so this message has to be given if i give an age which is greater than 18 so this has to be given and this is or it this is greater than 18 and this is also greater than 18 so when this condition is true this condition also be true so these two statement will be displayed so i don't want to see this statement to be you no know, uh, executed so i what i will do i will put a limit over here age is less than 50 that is how i want less than equals to 59 okay less than equals to 59 that is how i will put it okay now if i execute this see i have not given the age so i will give age is equals to now i will give age first i will give age as minus one and i will execute it okay so if age is this print this what is the error see the error over here i have forgot to add and operator and condition so that is how it will be going to take we have seen this in the previous tutorial where we need to have a conjunction over here so now if i am passing minus one as my age it is showing you are not born yet okay that is true i if i my nobody have minus one or zero as a you know age then if i have my age as 18 year so see this greater than or equals to 18 so this congratulations i'm able to vote this message has to be displayed congratulations you are eligible to vote okay now my third condition i will check if i say that i am 59 year old or 59 year old so this message has to be congratulations you are eligible to vote 59 so less than or equals to 59 so this is equals to 59 again so if i give 60 yeah if i give 60 then it will say you are senior citizen okay so here greater than 60 if i say less than equals to 58 58 then and greater than 58 okay so this condition will be to satisfied over here your seat is senior citizen now the third condition is also executed now if i give as as uh, any any other condition or you know i cannot think of any else condition if i give let's say i will give 100 and it's executed so it is not not considering it else part we we have to you know have certain conditions over here so let's consider it as i am putting 10 and uh, we are executing this so it is going to the else part uh print cell part else part but i have not managed it because of that it is giving me the error because this else part uh, is not managed over here so we can do what we can do we can simply delete that and then we can get the results of it okay now we have seen about multiple condition using if else so we have used this okay then uh, here we can get okay have some rest old chap okay this is how i have given so basically if i manage the conditions of age this is the logic where i need to manage it and this is the same colon which i need to use lf is used for managing it so now here i had only three conditions i and if i have more than 12 uh, no more than um, three conditions i have 12 conditions 20 conditions at the time else if else if else if won't work uh, good like it, it it is not advisable so we can use match so match is an option which is available so match month like if i have a month as an input so i can use that and then i will be using case and then i can use either one that is numerical value or we can use it as a 
the string okay so if i use this i will write print and and uh, guys please pay attention to the spaces which we know these these spaces okay because these uh, here we are not using the uh, here we are not using the curly bracket so that is this these spaces acts as a curly bracket so here assume that okay my curly bracket is open now inside it i have a case one which where i am writing a situation that this month is january jan jan okay now i'll close it and then i'll go for the next one and then i'll again write case 2 and then semicolon a colon and then i'll print okay this is this month is feb okay likewise i can do it for 12 months okay so i will what i will do i'll just copy this and then i will hit enter and then i'll paste it then i'll paste it and then i'll paste it okay so one two three okay four this will be my fourth condition this will be my fifth condition sixth condition will be over here okay and the seventh will be over here eighth condition will be over here now again if you see these are cases but here case one is in green color but my case two is not in the green color that means it is inside the case one i don't want that i just want my case to be outside of my first case statement so i'll hit enter i'll put a backslash and see that the color is changed now see the color is changed if you see it then here i just want it to have the color so i just you now keep that in line so that you are you get the correct results whatever you want to get okay we can use nested one as well we will see that later we are just introducing the basic topics and then we'll increase the complexity uh, as and when required so this is jan feb march april april may i'll put it may and then june june okay i'll convert this june july august this is my eighth month okay now i have done this now i if i execute i will not get any result because this i have not month i have not specified so month i'll say as one so if i say as one and if i say this is january month if i say as five so if i say as sixth so it will say june okay this is how it is giving me the result if i say august if i want to get what is on the eighth number it will be giving me the result okay now i will write case see this here i have given a number okay integer type now here i am using a, a november okay november and then i'm going uh, i'm putting single double quotes colon and then i am writing november this month is november okay now i will put over here nov okay and shift nov is not defined and oh sorry i need to put it into the double quotes okay so if i give november it is giving me november month now see this this is a number this is a string if i give string i need to give the exact string if i, I give a string which is not correct it will not give me a result because it is not able to find what exactly i should give as a response the same situation is happening over here it is not able to identify for this uh, yeah for this statement that what exactly in which block it should you know fall and what exactly the result should be shown so that is how it is happening so here it is case sensitive you need to make the case you need to consider the case sensitivity before you execute okay now we have seen about 
the multiple ifs and then we have seen about match statement so this is how your match statement will work okay you can put it and you can find it out now moving on to uh, with case statement now moving on to if else with for loop so we have seen if else okay now we are using for loop above it so uh, let's suppose a situation where we have age of employees with uh, 20 30 50 okay we are taking only three employees where we have the list of the age now we want to see who are eligible to vote and who are not okay so for that we will be using for loop as we know for i for i in in age okay and then we'll put colon and then we'll go inside it and then we'll say if now here it will take the first age that is 20th okay the first record it will take the zeroth index record if i if i is less than or if i is greater than equals to 18 then colon then go inside and then print you then print inside you are eligible to vote and then we'll say your age okay your age is we'll say the age as well okay and then here we will put i as a execution number so that we will get the age then else part in the else part we will write print okay we'll copy this again and then we'll paste it over here okay over here and then we'll say sorry you are not sorry you are not eligible to vote you are just you are you you are just this much years old okay so i don't have as of now any you know employee whose age is less than 7 uh, 18 so i will do this and now i will execute it so once i execute it so for the first record you are eligible to vote second all the three are eligible to vote and the last one is you are not eligible to vote that is how you can put it if i put in the middle okay some somebody who's of 10 year old okay then it is going to give me the result this is how i can combine two different concepts that is in uh, for loop with uh, with with we have used as if else condition so what else what is exactly we are doing if you see it one by one i'll i'll just you know break it for you so what is happening this is our indexing okay i i will put it over here i'll paste it over here so this is on the zeroth index this is on the first index then we have the second index then third index then fourth index and then fifth index okay likewise we have so on the first index it is taking as 20 so 20 if 20 is greater than 20 is greater than 18 or equals to 18 yes 20 is greater than equals to 18 yes so eligible okay so he is eligible now the break loop will break over here it will not go to the else part then again it will go for the 30 age is 30 30 is greater than 18 yes it is saying yes you are eligible to vote then again it will go for the next one that is for loop is going to execute for the third time so at the third time it will get as 10 so 20 30 and now it is going for the 10 so 10 so here it is 20 it is 20 here it is 30 okay and now here it is going to be 10 so 10 is 10 is less than it is not greater so it will say no once it is say no so it will say sorry sorry you are you are you are not eligible to vote then after that it will go for the 50 and it will go for the 50 again so for 50 it will be yes 
yes you are eligible to vote and then for 17 again it will be as 17 so it will be no you are not eligible to vote this is how the loop will go so if this condition is true it will not execute this if this condition is not true then it will execute this it will not execute this so this is how if else is combined with your loop now we will see the same thing with while loop as well okay so in while loop what exactly will be happening we here we are getting the element now here we are getting the index okay so for getting that um, we have this okay so here if i if i change it over here a bit okay so i will what i will do i'll just change it over here yeah so i'll put int uh, we don't need to define what is the variable okay so i will just say i is equals to zero okay and then here i will write while then i while i is less than equals to less than equals to now here i need to give the number of the range so one zero one two three four less than equals to 4 i'll say okay if now if i is greater than so this i is not going to hold any value so this is age of i so i'll say age of age of i okay why i'll i'll okay i first we will go with the simple thing okay i'll just keep it if age is equals to this greater than 18 you are eligible to vote and then else sorry you are not eligible we'll keep this as it is and now if if you see if i execute this i is not going to be increased because we have seen in the previous tutorial as well that if i am not explicitly increasing i it is not going to work in while loop so if i execute it this will go in endless loop if i execute this see i am getting a result but it is not stopping why it is not stopping because we are not increasing i and so there will not be a situation where i will be greater than 4 it will always be less than 4 and it will be always be 0 see this so it is 0 0 0 0 every time okay so this happens most of the time with the beginners so what you can do you can go over here kernel and over the kernel you have the restart option you will click on the restart and you will click on restart once you do that it is stopped okay now if else this is done i need to come out and then here i will be writing i is equals to i plus one okay and then now if i execute this oh again this is again out of the while loop so i need to stop my kernel i'll go again restart my kernel restart okay it should be inside it the way it is if the way if is inside i need to put it inside of it okay now see this it is showing me 0 1 2 3 but my values are 20 30 40 okay so how i can get it i need to use this this is my index okay the way i have shown you over here these are the indexes so it is printing my indexes it is not printing the values okay pay attention to this guys because i i am teaching from my experience it was you know difficult for me to understand when i was learning in the college so i feel that there is a slight difference and we should you know say uh, give some time to absorb it give some time to analyze it how things are working and how index is important and how we can use the index to get the result okay so if i change it now see this i have changed this age of i and age of i so i am accessing the element on the indexed part okay so it is showing me the exact same result which i was showing with the for loop okay this is how we can do it with the while loop as well okay now uh, we have done this uh, we i have some more interesting topics to cover which we i will be covering in the next you uh, know tutorial where we will be talking about the functions and lambdas and how you can use lambda what is exactly lambda is what is a function is how it is important and why to use it okay so uh, that's all for today if you like the video please subscribe 
us and hit that bell icon so whenever we post a new video you get a notification of it okay if you have any questions any queries or any doubt regarding the topic which we have covered today you can write me a comment and we will be discussing it into our next session or in the session of saturdays and sundays which we take as a live session okay that's all for today guys thank you so much